Patreon member shout out. When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and my life is a nightmare I'm just a kid, I know that it's not fair Nobody cares cause I'm alone in the world Is having more fun than me tonight Hey guys, how's it going? It is either Randy Chavez I'm coming at you today with a VV Omi update video you guys are new welcome if you're not welcome back i love y'all everyone say hello to dashi hello dashi commenting like and subscribing is a free way to help support the channel non-free ways are patreon or smashing that thanks button down below so let's get to it uh we do have a couple of things to go over first of which is going to be the omi token against the general markets and at bitcoin markets were pretty quiet today you know we were down 0.11 uh for the dow futures 0.15 s p futures and the nasdaq 0.24 percent uh, that did beat Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a little bit down as well, a little bit down more, about point. Uh, actually, it just it just changed to 0.28, and then OMI is down even less. It's about even. So it all general okay market day. Not too bad. Not too good. Um, moving on. I have stopped buying OMI for now. I will go and buy it if if we get to three zeros. A lot of people think that's coming. Uh, I am in that camp that I do think we get there. I don't think we get to 0. 0.0005 or anything, but 0. 0.0008 is probably within the realm of possibility. So definitely when it hits 0. 0.0009, that's when I'll go in. If I get lucky and I catch it on an eight, great. If not, no big deal. I'm 100% okay with just buying a little bit more at that price. Even at 0. 0.001, uh, I'll be fine with there. So moving on. Why I am... More bullish now than pretty much ever before is partly because of seeing the team at DesignerCon, but also because of the people that I've been interviewing lately. We had Greg Schultz uh, on recently, the, uh, <laughs> the basically the advisor uh, to the president, the one that had ran his campaign. And then you just did have Amar Singh come on recently, who is an art uh, patron over on the over on the Instagram, and actually does have a new Twitter channel. So I think everyone should definitely go take a follow because. He is the exact reason that we have the pride statues, which we will have in case you missed my live stream with him. We do have another one coming up uh, in about two weeks. We will have pride 2.0. Uh, I don't think he commented on the price just yet, but I would wager that it would be around the same price as the original one, which is about 100. He did say he wanted to give utility to those pride uh, holders. And speaking of which, uh, we must have done a really good job because it was about I think 16 or, or $1,800. Uh, and then afterwards now it is about $2,300. So we had moved up about 40%. Yeah, if you put it about 40%, you're looking at, yeah, and that's if we were at 1,700, which I think we might've been at 16. But either way, uh, up 40%, which is a pretty nice move considering we're in the down bear market. Before the interview, we were still at about 17 times what we were at the, at the start at the particular, you know, 100 gem launch a 16x um over retail is really really good especially in the bear market uh obviously now we are about 23 almost 24 times over uh the original i i'm not sure how much of that is just because we know a lot more is coming or we there people are focusing on utility or they're finally realizing hey this guy uh amar singh is really well connected and is a big part of the lgbtq uh, Indian, uh, UK, all of these different communities. And there's a decent chance that he might know a couple of people that would go and want it, uh, that they might not necessarily be in here yet. I've been saying this forever. People will come in that are interested in the things that we have, and you're never going to see them again because they'll just be, they'll just be there. Uh, they'll just be gone. So update from the fiches. We do have Brock McBlockchain saying, everyone, I have bad news. I completed the majority of the iOS update in like two hours today. Sorry, you won't have long to wait now. Still have to integrate the update into the game, but the new process now has three types of OMI. Don't worry. One is a vault or the OMI layer two in your wallet. There is the spot wallet, which lets you deposit OMI layer two into the arena for use without needing to directly control the use of OMI on the chain. Basically means that if you wanna gamble, if you wanna wager, that's what it's there for. So this is the magic that lets it all work on iOS devices. You still, um, you'll still be in full control of that OMI, use it or withdraw it back to your vault, but it's a way to load up a set amount of OMI, use it or withdraw winnings, etc., as you wish. So if it's layer two, which what else has layer two? The VV app. So what you could do is you could just go and say, 
hey, I'm going to sell a Ben Riley Spider-Man for a couple thousand dollars or a couple thousand gems um, or a couple thousand, you know, however much that, that comes out to an Omi. Um, let's say we can get that for, you know, 1.5 million Omi. And then you go and you, you know, when we have Omi to NFT and you say, okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that into the fiches. I'm going to gamble it and, you know, let, let the dice roll. And if I win, great, you can come back and buy two Ben Riley's. You can come back and uh, buy back your Ben Riley and then just have extra Omi in there. It is a very scary way, um, but it is a particular way that you can increase your Omi holdings. Moving on. He goes on to say that the guides will be updated, but soon everything will run through the spot accounts, even those not on iOS. So for anyone that has Android like me, we'll be doing that. He says, then we'll have a final round of improvements and adjustment slash fixes, and it should be tournament time. Hope your day finds you well. Uh, so hopefully this gets done this month. Uh, I'd be super excited if it did. If not, no big deal. I can wait. I can wait until July. I've gone 31 years without fish uh, waging battles. I can, I can wait another month. Uh, so Brock McBlockchain does also go and tweet, whoops, I accidentally did the update needed for iOS to work with Immutable X. Just got to wire it into matchmaking and we're good. Guess the tournament almost had a starting date. Hope you're ready. One fiche gets you into practice plus beta perks. 15th, 18th, tourney. June is fun. So he has teased the 15th and the 18th before. A lot of people were speculating that that might be the Buzz Lightyear drop or maybe when fiche get their uh, get their way onto uh, VV or if VV NFTs are able to go into fiche. We're not sure yet, but I think in here he's talking about the tournament specifically. Uh, so I went over the Amar, uh, Amar thing, and moving on, we had an update from Kathy Wood today just talking about how she thinks Zoom will be $1,500 per share in X amount of years. And a, a new thing that I want to try to do is I want to try to go and say anyone that can listen that has a really big following, even if they're not necessarily into VV or they're not necessarily into Omi, they have no idea who they who they are, who we are. I think it'd, it'd be pretty good to go and, and get people like Kathy Wood that might not know who we are and... How, you know, get her on. Previously, I have had Darcy Donovan, like I said, Greg Schultz, Amar Singh, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, really cool, famous people. And the the common denominator with them is that they all had something uh, to do with either VV or Omi. But getting people that aren't will just bring more people in. So that, that's what I'm hoping to do here. Comment down below anyone that you really want me to go and uh, interview. I have reached out to Kathy Wood, Andre Jick, Ray Fixie. Um, Ray Fixie obviously has stuff to do with us, and so does Andre Jick, but again, slow but steady. Maybe if I can get Andre Jick, I could try to get uh, to Logan Paul. You know, we know he's in this as well. Um, and yeah, moving on. Actually, that'd be it for the updates. Everyone check out at Hey David Don and at King Mavs Forever over on the Twitter, Standoff Chart and King Mavs over on the VV app. Kobe Collects and Only Player One over on the YouTube, RaithX.ETH domain name. Kyle Wilson, Wendy Sabalas, Puddin' Cheeks, BB Las Vegas, Taps Trades, Mars Davis, Legacy of Bermuda, Sody Pop Media, VV Darklink, Metal Lemon, and VV Vibes all on the YouTube. And you got Nomad with Guitar at Wet Wizard VV and Gary O at 1234CA3 all on the Twitter that y'all should follow. Everyone say bye bye to Dashi. Bye bye Dashi. I love you guys. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.